Here is a new blind item that is allegedly about the Nexium S cult, Sarah Bronfman, who was a major part of it, and her husband, Bassett Igtet, who has attempted to try to take over Libya. This one is called The Spy. Back in the day when the whole S cult scandal thing broke, and this is allegedly Nexium, I would randomly email one of the siblings, Sarah Bronfman, who was adjacent but never ended up going to jail. It could also be where she lived that kept her from going to jail. The vast majority of the time when she would email me, she would have ignored my questions and send me instead some kind of new age mantra type of stuff. It was so out of whack that I used to wonder if it had some kind of code in it. It didn't. Don't forget that her significant other, Bassett Igtet, tried to take over the country, Libya, of his birth. He didn't, but gave it a good try. Where was he getting his backing? No one ever really dug into his financial support. Oh, sure, there were some people who go in and out of the U.S. government every few years, depending on who was in charge, but they were just there to give him support once he took over the country. Why, since that time, he has never left the very neutral country with very strict extradition laws, Switzerland. He has never been questioned about the deal he cut with a different foreign power to provide them with a bunch of women from his own country and neighboring countries to try and get some of the population back they need so desperately. And this is allegedly Qatar. Over the past couple of years, the couple have been off my radar. Then, all of a sudden, in the past six weeks or two months, including as recently as this past week, certain people were killed by a third country that had sought to keep our guy from assuming power in his home country. Is he leaking whereabouts of these people in exchange for another chance to take over his home country? Is he signing his own death warrant? Is his wife the go-between? And again, this is allegedly Nexium, Sarah Bronfman, her husband, Bassett Igtet, Libya, Switzerland, and Qatar. And the related revealed blind item from November 16th of 2023 reads, The initial cult is making a comeback. Somehow they found a bunch of new financial backing. Could it be coming from the sister who lives overseas and escaped the whole going to jail thing? And again, this is allegedly Nexium and Sarah Bronfman.